Welcome everyone, here is how you use Photo Widget on iOS 16. Do make sure you have it from the App Store, it's completely free. So let's open up the Photo Widget app. You can have a little tutorial, we don't need a tutorial, so just tap on start. And so from here, you do have all of these themes which you can add to your home screen. However, I'm not going to be covering this, mainly because these themes are going to have this annoying, like you open up the app, and it opens up another app, so I don't recommend you play around with that. Instead, we're going to tap on widget at the bottom here, and you can see you have all these widgets available. You can view the widgets you've created, and then you can create a photo widget if you would like to. So let's just tap on create album here, and then you can tap on the album name. So I'm just going to call this, you know, face. And I'm going to tap on the plus, and I'll just choose this. And you can add multiple, but I'm just going to use one. So now it's going to load up. You can do cropping and all these options here, filters. And you just slide around to choose whichever one you would like. Tap the tick when you're happy. So uh, I'm going to tap on done. Tap on the X. And if you ever want to edit in the future, you can always long press here. If you want to change the size, there we go. You can change the size of the widget just like this. Okay. And if we go out, we can create another photo widget if we would like to. So I'm just going to call this Face 2. And the reason why I'm showing this will be uh, quite obvious in a bit. So now I'm just going to use this one. Let's tap on Done. Boom. So let's check this real quick. This is a small widget, cool. This is a small widget too. Of course you can change the size. So once you have a, found the widget you're happy with and you've created it, you just go to the home screen, long press on the empty space, tap on the plus, and then you're just going to search for photo widget like so, tap on this. Select the size you used, okay, and tap on Add Widget. So from here, you will need to long press on the empty space, tap on Edit Widget, and you'll see Widget Type, then you can select the widget type you used. So in my case, I used the Photo Widget, let's tap on this one, and then you can select the Album, so I used Face. Now the Photo Refresh Interval, so if you created a you know an album which had multiple photos, then you can change the refresh interval here. Slideshow. So if you want random photos to show up, this only works obviously if you have multiple photos, you can do that. Or you can have the photos go in order you've added them. And then you also have the created on here. So once you're happy, there is the widget. So the reason why I created multiple widgets is because if I just add this one here. You know, by default, you know you want you want to have different photos, right? So you just edit the widget again, select photo again, but this time just make sure you change the album, right? And there we go. You can see all the different photo widgets. If we go back into the photo widget app, of course, I mean there are all these different widgets you can create. You just tap on create, and then you have all this customization. I mean, it really is endless. And if you do slide across, you can change the size for these widgets here. Uh, let's use that. I, feel, I like purple. Purple's my favorite color. Uh, iPhone 14 coverage is also on my channel. One video every 30 minutes, so subscribe. Um, believe me, um, I work hard. Anyway, if you change the border size, all these options you can play around with. I'll just select save. Yeah, uh, nice, nice and all. Oh, how I edit my home screen? Well, you can check my channel because believe me, I've shown tricks on how to edit the home screen no one shown before. Uh, iOS 16 patched the way you change the uh, uh, remove the notification at the top. <laughs> Don't play with me because I already got around it. So first person, I think, could be wrong there, but first to, to make a tutorial. So once you have created this, let's say we want to add the battery widget, just go to the home screen, tap on the plus, Photo widget, select the size again, 
and I selected the wrong size because I'm not the brightest. But that's okay. Try this again, boom. And you long press, edit widget. You select the widget type we used, which was battery. And we'll select the album, which is album one. We'll see we don't have a photo refresh interval. And boom, everything is fully working. So that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.